Hi folks, this is Max from Galaxy S to Root.com for this week's Team Mobile Galaxy S to SGH uh, T99 ROM of the week. Check out this unofficial version of AOKP MR2. That's right, MR2. Now, um, the rumor is that I'm not sure this phone will be supported officially uh, by AOKP for 4.3 and up. Uh, we hope so, but this is an unofficial version uh, that will kind of give you a preview of what's coming up with MR2 uh, release, uh, which will be the next and also the first Android 4.3 AOKP. But if you have a T-Mobile Galaxy S2, you can try it now. Um, this is pretty much nearly the full version. Uh, there, there may be some newer uh, features, um, but some of the it, ha it does have some new features such as a Google Now button uh, in recent RAM bar. So now you can kill all and also you can uh, bring up Google Now pretty easily there. Um, so some little features like that has been added, but the major point is that this is now running Android 4.3, um, the first Android 4.3 based on AOKP. Uh, some stuff like choose lock screen wallpaper, that's kind of new. Um, there may be some more new ones, uh, but otherwise it's nearly same as MR1 uh, Milestone 2. Uh, MR2 is going to be nearly identical, some more features, but uh, the main thing is Android 4.3. Now this is going to be wonderful because when, I remember when we're going from like ICS to Jelly Bean, suddenly the first AOKP series lost a lot of the features that were on ICS. Uh, it took a while for some of these, uh, all of those features to come back to Jelly Bean. Now with Android 4.3 update, um, you do get pretty much everything from Android 4.2.2. Uh, plus all the new Android 4.3 features such as OpenGL 3.0. Um, battery life is pretty good, very smooth. For a uh, unofficial version, this thing uh, rocks pretty well. And I know some of you swear by AOKP, especially on this phone, T989. Um, so if you are using AOKP 4.2.2 versions such as MR1, Milestone 1 or Milestone 2, Definitely give this unofficial one a try. It is pretty good. Also, the camera works flawless out of the box. Um, now, the only thing that's not working with the camera is taking photos while taking videos. Um, so do not hit tap the button while you take videos. Um, otherwise, it'll work just fine. And also, if you need Photosphere, you can grab the Android uh, 4.3 Photosphere APK and uh, uninstall the existing gallery using Titanium Backup. Or you can make a backup first also. Uh, and then install the new Photosphere. If you don't like the new Photosphere camera, um, you can go ahead and uh, restore the Gallery app if you did make a backup in Titanium Backup app and get the original camera back. Or you can also reinstall the ROM, reinstall G apps uh, without doing a wipe. That will also get your uh, original camera back that ROM came with. Uh, overall, very nice ROM, very smooth. Um, I'm glad uh, what's coming with AOKP. And this is pretty much going to be like, you know, almost exactly like what's going to be MR2 official release. But you can get it now. Uh, for those of you with Team Mobile Galaxy S2, try it out and do let me know what you think. But I think you'll like it. There are some kind of weird things uh, going on sometimes. Um, but mostly it's working pretty darn good. Um, sometimes when I'm swiping, it, it seems a slight lag there. Uh, but it does go away after... Um, if you use it often, and uh, that's that's kind of a quirk thing with the Android 4.3. Other than that, it's it's a solid ROM. You can use it as daily driver, and yeah, try it out and do let me know what you think. And as always, if you have a Galaxy S2, don't forget to sign up for my email list at galaxyS2root.com. We update you once a week with ROM of the week tips, hacks, and more. And also, if you're new, to please hit that like button for me here, subscribe button down there too. And I will see you guys soon. Uh, stay hoy on Android.